Australia need babies more than new migrants. In today's video update, we will talk about the fertility dilemma in Australia and its impact on Australian immigration. Are you thinking of coming to Australia but not sure about the process? Don't worry at all. We're here to help. Explore our website now to connect with numerous registered and verified Australian immigration advisors. Click the link in our description and the pinned comment below. Let's get back to the video and tell you about the declining fertility rates in Australia. A persistent trend. Australian women have been fertile, with an average of having fewer than two children since the 1970s. Delayed parenthood is a common trend among many Western industrial countries, which also represents the same trend in Uganda. The reality is that, however, though people would want more children, According to surveys, Australians desire an average of 1.5 additional children than what they finally have. However, women are now having children at much older age than their predecessors and also producing fewer babies. Advanced assisted reproductive technologies have been unable to overcome the trend toward fewer children due to delayed parenthood. Now let's talk a bit about Australian immigration. As a demographic counterbalance, Australia has accepted an open immigration policy as one way it can support its economy due to the low fertility rate in the country. It is one of the strategies that invites working aged people from different parts of the world, where Asia is the major contributing region in the 21st century. As of 2020, the top originating countries for foreign born population in Australia include England, India, mainland China and New Zealand. What are the political perspectives and government initiatives? In this regard, prominent political leaders such as Peter Costello have highlighted the need for many births and not just many immigrants. To this, an Australian government has made policies that enhance high reproduction rates. These include efforts addressing the problem of an inadequate replacement fertility rate. Are you wondering about the economic social implications? Fertility rates have declined for a number of reasons over the years. This will have very important effects, social as well as economic, upon Australia's future. Although a few suggest that less fertility is necessary for tackling global warming, it is a necessity for the state to act when the populace starts again. These challenges require a balance between a viable population, environmental considerations and the incorporation of immigrants into the social fibre. This is an intricate relationship between demography, culture and policies with regard to Australian population dynamics. Our video ends here. We hope you found this video update useful. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family on Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter. Thanks for watching.